All right, is um, Amazon refurbished a scam? I did get my MacBook, but there's definitely something wrong here. Amazon renewed guarantee coverage. The coverage guarantee is applicable on select renewed products where specifically mentioned on the product information page. If you're not satisfied, return the product within 90 days of receipt, pretty generous, or within one year of receipt of a renewed premium product. One year they give you, which is exactly what I thought I was getting with this machine last purchased november 8th 2023 this is renewed premium when i go back to this page though it says currently unavailable possible they might have sold out of them when i bought it it said i have one year to return it and here it says for a full refund or replacement full refund okay here's my order i paid 1619 plus tax for a total of 1716 dollars and 14 cents so i'm still within my year return eligible through november 8th 2024 now when i go through the return form i find the very odd that suddenly it's telling me that the refund is going to be 1372 dollars and 91 cents instead of the 1700 plus dollars that i actually paid for this amazon what happened to your full refund you can see the predicament here that i'm in i can go through with this and do my return and take a hit of a few hundred dollars how am i gonna get the full refund that's the question at this point i have to get in touch with somebody at amazon which i really don't want to do customer service return or replacement start a return or replacement this way nope i need more help request a call now okay call me now they're calling hello i'm in a queue uh, yes, I'm trying to go through with a return. It looks like it's not working quite well on the website because I'm returning an item that was one amount, but when I try to do the return, it's telling me the refund will be a very different amount. Less. Or more money? Less. Yeah, if it was more, I wouldn't be calling you, right? <laughs> $1,716, right? Yeah, that is correct. Okay, I just need a call from my supervisor to the amount of money. So may I please call for two minutes? Yes, of course. Hello, Alexander. Uh, I'm just trying to get this refund right now. If you receive like a notification like for a pickup, just ignore it. I'm just trying to get this refund for you, okay? Okay, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Please do with me. Always be nice to people. It just goes uh, way further than not being nice to people. I was checking all the information here with a supervisor, and the thing is that why you are receiving this charge is because the system doesn't recognize that you have until November this year to return the item. Uh -huh. The system doesn't recognize that. That is the reason that you are receiving like a charge for $323.80, but no worries, this can be fixed. How? Uh, you will receive the refund for $1,372.91, and once you receive it, you can get in touch with us. Couldn't you just refund me the entire amount right now? Mm, currently, no, because the system doesn't recognize that you are within the window to return the item still. Well, when I go to return it, it says return by November 9th, 2024. It's there in the system. Uh, are you talking about a different system? Like, no, no, I'm talking about like uh, like Amazon, like the uh, the refund system. Yeah. It doesn't recognize that you have until November 9th to return the item. So can we do that all on the phone? right now i can process the refund right now but we need to wait for the first refund or for the first money or for the first amount be refunded to your card and then we can process the second refund okay so when will the money hit my card usually it takes like within seven to ten days when amazon website says this is going to be a full refund the system doesn't recognize that this like issue doesn't happen but this time i don't know what's happening because the it is not like recognizing the full amount that's very strange because I'm not even showing that there is a restocking fee being charged for me when I try to return it. No, I understand because I was checking like the return policy because on my end with my team, this is the first time that we can see an item with that period of time to return the item. I'm the first person at Amazon to try and do this? On my team, yes. I'd like to resolve this so I don't have to do multiple refunds. Um, would it be possible to see if there's another supervisor that knows how to do it? Yeah, of course, no worries. Okay, thank you. So he's saying they can refund me, but it says here, partial refund. And then once I receive that refund, I have to call them back and request another refund for the restocking fee. But I don't see a restocking fee anywhere, which means that the system thinks that this item is actually cheaper than it is. Hello, thank you for what I'm the line. My name is...
supervisor in charge. So well, the previous agent told me that there's an issue with an item, that in this case you're trying to return it, but in this case you're getting charged for restocking fee, right? Not exactly. <laughs> Yes, there is a restocking fee for three hundred and twenty-three dollars, but this is not right since you're still in the in the return window. Let me take a look here, more options, and just to process like a full refund for it. So just allow me a moment, and I'll be back. Okay, no problem. Thank you. By the way, the Apple refurbished store currently does not have this machine, but they do have a similarly specced out M2 Pro machine for about a hundred bucks more, less than a hundred bucks more. On the same machine on Amazon, this one is not renewed premium. We've got one for 1,991, which is not recommended. You can get an M2 version cheaper than this on Apple refurbished. Hello? Yes, hello. I was checking here all the options regarding this situation and apparently um, the options uh, were showing us this restocking fee on it. So we have another option as well. What can we do is that I can send you an extra label and I can process the refund for the item. So you will be having uh, the full refund of the item and with this extra label, you can return the item. What's this label? So on the label will be showing no refund because I'm going to be pricing the refund separately. I see. And the label is the UPS label, right? Just give me one moment. Let me just take a look here. I just sent you the label. Can you please check your email if you got it? Oh, I have three of them. This is this looks like the right label, uh, but I don't see there's no mention of not like refunding me here. Should be on the on the email. Oh, in the email. <laughs> I see. Our line is breaking up a little bit. So I, I just want to make sure I have this right. You're going to issue the refund right now. It's going to show up and hit my credit card like sometime in the next few days right and then i just have to send this back uh whenever right yeah, that's right and um, just to let you know just in case if the item is not returned you will be charged for it gotcha uh, well that's uh that's great that you found a solution thank you for that that's it thank you very much was a pleasure have a good day all right you too bye-bye 48 minutes do i feel comfortable about this not really all right it's been a few days i've already mailed back the item in a box they did say they were gonna refund me right away but then i get this weird message thank you for returning the item you received in addition to your order blah 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 as this item was sent to you in addition to the original order by mistake we'll not issue a refund we've received the item and your return is now complete huh? won't issue the refund you gotta admit this made me a little bit nervous so i checked out my credit card transactions and the return was actually done <sighs> amazon might promise you the moon when it comes to their refurbished laptop return policy but when push comes to shove they might just try to short change you it took me 48 minutes on the phone talking to two different agents just to get them to honor their own policy and give me a full refund so don't just accept what you're offered if it doesn't seem right question it push back escalate it to a supervisor if you have to be nice but persistent and don't give up until you get the resolution that you want. Hopefully this helps some of you if you find yourself in a similar situation. Don't let the big corporations steamroll you. Stand up for your rights as a consumer. And of course, hit that like button if you like this video and subscribe for more videos like this one. I'll see you in the next one.